Hi Excel fans, Dave Brunts here from Excel Jet. So welcome to this second video in our series on Excel formulas. Today I want to share with you some tips for how you can work faster and more efficiently with formulas in Excel. But first I've got a question for you about productivity. Have you ever thought about how many hours are wasted in companies all around the world every week as people struggle to use formulas to solve basic problems. It's a big number, right? Every day, intelligent people are trying to use formulas to solve problems like, how can I combine the data in this table with the data in this table? Or, how can I extract the first name from this list of 10,000 names? Or, how can I count the number of cells that contain just this one product code in this huge list of 20,000 orders? Or how can I adjust these 500 dates so that they all end on the last day of the month? These are just ordinary, normal problems, but they aren't that easy to solve in Excel. And the reason is pretty clear, right? Nobody gets solid training in Excel formulas and functions. It just doesn't happen. People learn Excel on the job, and for pretty basic things, they do pretty well. But when the problems get more complex, they struggle. Because Excel is a beast of an application with over 400 built-in functions. So just being aware of the 50 or so functions you might use that are useful to you is a major challenge. But if you use Excel at least a few hours a week, and unless you're already an Excel guru, then it's also a big opportunity. When you take time to strengthen your skills with Excel formulas, not only can you do your own work faster and more accurately, but you become a more valuable asset to any company. When you're good with Excel, people will seek you out for help, and you'll automatically have conversations with people that you might not talk to otherwise. Also, you'll be recognized as somebody who contributes to productivity, and every good manager loves and will go out of their way to protect productivity. The bottom line is that investing in yourself to get better with Excel's formulas and functions can pay you back again and again. Okay, so now let's do some Excel training. Next, I'm going to run you through a great list of formula tips that you can use to save time in Excel today. Okay, so here we are in Excel, and now I'm going to take you through more than 20 tips to help you save time and work faster with Excel formulas. We cover all these topics in more detail in our course on Excel formulas, so I'm going to move rapid fire through these tips and trust that you can rewind the video if you need to. So when you're entering a formula, you can use autocomplete and tab to enter the formula. Just enter an equals sign and start typing, and then you can use the arrow key to select the function you need and press tab. Notice that you don't need to enter a closing parenthesis. You can also use a feature called insert function. There's a button next to the formula bar, or you can use the shortcut shift F3. And you can use the same feature to get back to the function arguments either with the button or with the shortcut Shift F3. Once you have a function entered in Excel, you can use the function screen tip window to select the different arguments. If you find the screen tip window is blocking something you want to see, you can just move it anywhere you want. You can also ask Excel to insert function arguments for you using the shortcut Control Shift A. Then you can select the arguments and replace them with the values you need. When you're entering functions that require multiple references on the worksheet, you don't need to use a comma 
if you hold down the control key on Windows or the command key on the Mac. There's several ways you can enter formulas in a table and copy them down quickly. First, you can select all the cells, enter the formula, and then use control enter, or you can enter the formula and double click the fill handle, or you can enter the formula select the formula and the cells below, and use the shortcut fill down, which is control D. You can also convert a table to an Excel table using control T. And once you have a table, when you enter a formula, Excel will automatically copy that formula down. You can use a shortcut for AutoSum to quickly enter some functions for multiple rows, multiple columns, or for an entire table. When you're working with a complicated formula that has a syntax problem, Excel may not let you enter that formula. As a workaround, you can temporarily convert the formula to text with a single quote, and then come back later when you have more time and fix the problem. You can quickly see all the formulas in a worksheet using the keyboard shortcut Control plus Grave. You can use a shortcut to toggle all formulas on and all formulas off. You can also use Go to Special and Formulas. This will select every formula in the worksheet. On Windows, use the keyboard shortcut F4 to toggle through absolute and relative references. And on the Mac, use the shortcut Command T. When you want to move formulas without changing relative references, you can use cut and paste. Or you can use drag and drop. When you want to copy formulas that contain relative references, you can temporarily convert them to text. I'll search for the equal sign and replace with a hash character. Then I'll copy and paste the formulas. And then I'll reverse the search and replace, looking for a hash character and replacing with the equal sign. Now all formula references are unchanged. You'll often want to convert formulas to values. A simple way to do this is to use Paste Special with the Values option. Select the formulas, copy, bring up Paste Special, and choose Values. Then you can delete columns that you no longer need. You can also use Paste Special to convert values in place without any formulas at all. In this case, I'll move all of these dates forward by 14 days, or two weeks. Just copy the value, bring up Paste Special, choose Values, and a math operation. In this case, we want to add. Now all dates are shifted forward by 14 days. I can use the same approach to increase prices by 15%. This time, I want to choose Values and the Multiply operation. You can use named ranges to make your formulas easier to read and understand. In this case, I'll name the cell that contains hourly rate and then update the formulas. If I undo that, you can also apply names using the Apply Names feature on the Formulas tab of the ribbon.
To understand a more complicated function, you can use F9 manually, or you can use the Evaluate Formula feature. To use F9, work from the inside out. Here we'll use F9 to evaluate today. Then we'll evaluate the year frac function. And finally, we'll use F9 to see the result of the int function. Evaluate formula is on the formulas tab of the ribbon. Each time you click evaluate, Excel will solve one step of the formula, working from the inside out. Okay, so that's 20 tips to help you work a little faster with Excel formulas. Give these tips a try and save a little bit of time in Excel today. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that training. Make sure you download the worksheet that I used in the video, which is attached below, and give those tips a try. I'll be back in a couple of days with the third and final video in this series on Excel formulas, so watch for an email. And in the meantime, We'd love to hear from you about your experiences with Excel formulas or anything in this video. So use the comment area below to leave your thoughts. I'll see you soon in the next video.